Hello buddy. Welcome back to a brand new episode here on the channel today. You can see that before um, I was playing the Formula 1 game. But you can see now, I clicked on this before when it was pre-ordered to see when it would release. And it's today at 5pm. It's 5.07. And let's see if it works. It should. I did the research. It said available at 5pm for deluxe version. Let's get in. <gasps> it works. It works. EA Sports. It works. It works. Oh my god, it works. I'm gonna play the entire thing. Hold on, let me get my Bluetooth. And yes, I have beat headphones if you didn't know. Okay, I resetted it so that you guys can actually see from the very beginning. So, um, yeah, it worked. And so, here we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. F1 2021, the official video game. EA Sports, it's in the game. Let's begin episode one of Breaking Point. Normal, challenged, hard. Optimized for using, offers the balance experience that a circuit performs using fewer assists. So I guess this is like the in-between, offers a balance experience that recommends for players comfortable with fewer assists. All right, so here's the thing. Let me check my, let me check something real quick. Alright, so I did a poll. I don't think anyone did. Yeah, nobody did it. But, um, I did a poll, either being, um, um, Aston Martin or Williams, because I obviously, as you know, um, in the season before this, aka the 2020 season, I was obviously BWT racing. I mean, not BWT racing. I was Mercedes. So I was gonna do a poll of either Aston Martin or Williams. No, nothing came up. Uh, no one voted. In, so I think I'm gonna go with as um, BWT just because I did um, Mercedes last season. And because I did Mercedes last season, I feel like it'll be good for me to like. I guess let's just say like I'm more used to like uh, Mercedes park uh, cars. I could go with the Williams, but I think I'll go with the um, BWT. It's just one step down, which means that it will be similar to last season, at least aka last year's game for me, especially team, so casual. Um, yeah, I think I'll go with standard. Let's go here. Um, I am not an app. Let's go custom. Custom, so steering assist off, braking assist off, I don't need braking, anti-lock on, traction control, gearbox, manual suggest, hit assist, nope, hit release, ERS off, off, uh, is that it, uh, realistic, um, erase starts manual, surface is realistic, okay, now let's just go here, custom, okay, Alright, yeah, I think that's good. Now let's go to simulation settings. Alright, I think that's perfect. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, episode 1 of Mumbai. Prologue. With the 2019 Formula 2 Championship coming down to the final race of the season, young British driver 
Aiden Jackson is looking to etch his name into the history books. Abu Dhabi, Formula 2, 2019. Look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive! Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aiden Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula 1. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric, and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. Okay, I like this already. Okay, Aiden, you're doing great. Keep focused. You know what to do. Copy that! Oh, okay, I wasn't ready. Oh my god, I'm so bad. P3, Latifi is ahead of you. Okay, gap ahead is 2.7 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Sete camera is behind you. They're on fresh softs. The gap to the leader is 4.8 seconds. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Just three laps to go now, three laps. The gap between you and the car behind is increasing by a significant amount each lap. Good job. Down to the side of it. Here we, we, we go. We get our rear end steps out of it, but we're through. For P2. We gotta catch the auto and the one. Oh, I actually did that. Oops. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. But we go down the inside and we're up in the tier one. I think I just and I hit another goal as well. I'm driving very small. My driving is very bad. You I I mean yeah, I can feel the difference. But I can't actually feel it because I'm not using the same wheel, I'm on my drawer, but I can I can see it that it's like, I can see it too. What actually? Okay, so the he got the auto has to slip I don't know about the arrest but he does have to slip I just gotta hold him up for a couple more points.
Fantastic work, Caden. Great drive, mate. Congratulations. Yes! Come on! And he's done it! Jackson's done it! Aiden Jackson wins the F2 Championship! What a win for Jackson! What a win! And he couldn't have gone to a better driver! A magnificent result! He's already been vocal about his dreams of one day driving for Mercedes in Formula One. Let's just hope the right people are watching today. And here he is, the man of the moment, Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting well, behind there we the go. I barely survived it. So Here we go, we chapter one. It Let's hasn't finish really it off quite sunk in yet. The I'll team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a dream come true. So, to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So, yeah, it, it can be a bit overwhelming, but out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Casper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures were all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream was always to be Casper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? Aiden. Just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm right with that. Does that mean we could lose the old one? <laughs> You come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be that easy compared to F2. Oh, yep, here we go. Mercedes, Hamilton, set for positive. F2 world champion, moves up. Melbourne. Oh, yeah, I forgot. And there's these are like the other YouTubers. Here's our prior regular people and YouTubers. Hello? Aiden, are you in your room? Oh, hey, Brian. Yeah, I'm in my room. Good. Well, have a look around. I hope you like it. Should be everything you need in there. News feeds, social media. Hey, you're hooked up to the lot. Just do me a favor, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Oh, right. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather, do what you need to do, and I'll see you before the race. Nice one. And we got good luck from our teammate. Nice. Got the weekend preview, obviously here. Oh. Hello. Hello, love. How's it going? All right, Ma. Yeah, it's going all right. Just getting ready. I saw your interview. And? You need a haircut. <laughs> all right. 
Well, thanks, I guess. But aside from that, you were great. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. I know, Ma. Thanks. I wish I could be out there with you. This is everything you've worked towards. Yeah, I know, but you'll be at the next one. Just do what you do, and everything will be great. Thanks, Ma. And remember, mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. Great advice. I'm all over it. I know you are, love. I'll speak to you later. Good luck. Bye. All right, there we go. And then let's check my rewards real quick. Skip that. Let's go to the race for chapter one of Breaking Point. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Here you go. A solid start, Aiden. Let's try and push it further. Copy that. Uh, where's Casper? He's up ahead. Let's try and bring you two closer together. Alright, from here, um, I'm gonna speed up the video. It took a bit of time, I think like one and a half laps to get up to Ricardo. So, um, I'll show you, um, I'm gonna, um, obviously stop the time lapse when I hit, um, the DRS zone or like when I was overtake. But, um, here we are. And we're supposed to catch Casper by, um, lap 11. I should be able to do that. And here we go, stopping the time lapse. And here we go. Through the S section, and I have to go in there. Go a bit wide onto the grass. Open the RS light. But there goes Ricardo and Russell, which opens the gap on the inside for me. I go very, very carefully. I squeeze them out. I think I made contact with those. But Ricardo gets past Russell, and they You've wide. moved up to P12. After that, double over so now we just gotta go on the charge for Devon Butler and Alright, here we are. Um, I cut it so that it's making the video slightly shorter. Um, here we are out through the chicane or uh, whatever with DRS and slightly a bit of DRS on the outside of the Butler. Great and maneuver. You made it look right, easy. He is still on to us. So, um, that's going to be a challenge, we hold it off, we bang wheels, but we hold the inside line, and then we squeeze him out just barely, and then we're up into P11, and we have one, no, we have two more laps remaining, so I just put it The gap to the car ahead is 2.5 seconds. Casper is directly ahead of you. Yeah, so from here I'm not gonna skip because obviously, you know, this is the most important part of the story, catching up with Casper. And then, yeah, so we have, now, right now it's under, it's about 1.6 seconds to gap, it's 1.5 now, that's the 1.5, 1.4 to the point. I am closing and closing, but um, we can continue pushing and uh, we, will, we will probably get him before lap 11, that's probably why. Chapter of uh, this objective. So, yeah, now we have uh, Casper ahead of us, our veteran, the veteran teammate. And then, yeah, uh, I do cut the corner there, but luckily, no uh, uh, penalty warnings, not penalties. But, uh, yeah, I think I caught him the next lap, because obviously it doesn't look like I'm gonna catch him this lap. So I probably caught him last week, next lap, and lap 11, the last lap to you know, catch up with him. But, um, yeah. Oh, never mind, I caught him in What a brilliant Australian Grand Prix this has been, but there's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Casper's not your priority, we need you to defend. It's okay! I've got this! Here comes Butler! Three abreast going into turn 11! On this card one! And it doesn't! Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well! Is he okay? Is Casper okay? He'll be fine. 
fine, he's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. And there we have it. So I'm sure there's going to be fireworks in the Racing Point Garage this evening. There will be Grassy for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact. And that one will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely. And I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aidan Jackson. Not how his F1 race debut should have gone. Oh, this sucks. The damage appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aiden? Yeah, car's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. Copy. Well, you guys just saw what happened. Obviously, three, three wide into that corner. Wouldn't have never worked. Late move by Bomb Dust called us to hit our teammate off. Such a same for us. Um, but yeah, um, now we get, all we gotta do is push to the end of the race and hope we can score at least one point, obviously, to make up for what happened. But um, yeah, uh, I would guess if there's an overhead something to There's four laps of fuel remaining. Yeah, but here now here you are uh, with the RS and ERS. We are this is your final lap, the, final lap of the down race. Butler, down the main straight, braking and squeezing them out. And there we go, P10, next up is Lando Norris. And with absolutely no laps remaining, this is the last lap. If we are going to pass Norris, it has to be around the last corner or something like that because he is currently about 5.5 tenths up and I cut the corner there by accident so I rewind a bit and yeah, I ran out of Y and hit the barrier typical me just getting to you know early on the throttle and I do the exact same thing but this time I I won't because I realized the no point and then here we are continuing on the charge over like overworking myself, pushing the car, and and here we go. He is now um, six times up. Uh, no, yeah, more than six times up, seven times up. Very good. Point. I was like, at this point, I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna catch up to him. All I can do is push him corner cut to even get to him. And I just saw a corner cut there to get slightly bit of an okay exit. As Hamilton wins in Australia, and here we are on the charge behind that Nunez, going a bit wide in the exit there, too much grass, and I absolutely shot into Norris. I absolutely flat him. And now with DRS and ERS for the final push, side by side over the line, and we go home in P8. But, okay, um, pick up like rubber and bring it home. Like you, obviously, I cut it out, but like. That was a pretty bad overtake. That was a very bad overtake at the end, but I think that's what's okay. <laughs> what a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia, Ant. The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport, and it'll be interesting to see how the new racing point driver, Aidan Jackson, settles in, especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, that last move on the race was kind of bad. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. An unknown incident involving Devin Bell and his own teammate, Casper Akinem, named Jackson's maiden outing in F1. Okay. Oh, no. Casper, listen, 
I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car? Hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm. How did they ever sign you? Oh, Butler. I'm uh, Devon. I didn't see you there. I walked like out on the track today. You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't sailed in yet. Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth racing plan we're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about that incident with your teammate. Complete an event for me in season one. Talk to me. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, what happened out there today? I had it all under control and then... Look, let's not go through all that now. We'll talk about it in the debrief. Right, yeah. I was actually talking about your little running with Casper and Butler over in the paddock. Oh, wow. News travels fast. The paddock talks, Aiden. Besides, I've got ears like a hawk. Listen, Butler's a clown. The man's ego is bigger than a... No, no, I've got nothing. Don't give it a second thought. Thanks, Brian. The Casper? <laughs> yeah, so you can get a little hot-headed, especially after a race. But you have got to work with him. That manoeuvre today... Was it my fault, Brian? It probably cost us points. I'll level with you. A lot of people on the team are disappointed, Aiden. And I'll be saying as much to Casper. Now, learn from it and move on but you can't let it happen again. I'll see you at the debrief. Alright, well there is a um, phone call from Brian. Let me just get the rewards real quick. So um, now that we're done, um, I think I'll end the video off here. Um, that was, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, share with your friend. Also, I'm sorry that you guys cannot experience this in like the full quality of the game obviously I don't have it connected directly to the computer so you guys can't have like the best experience ever I'm sorry but um thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this is game sign off I'll see you in a very new video peace